Hello, this is on stereoscopic rendering in Blender. If you want to have a real space experience of your architectural model, this is the most simplest way how to do it. So we prepared a, a small model. It's called Fragment Blend. You find the link below in GitHub. So this is to give you an indicator what I'm doing. We have to add a camera, a single camera, uh, adjust this camera, have it here, so, here we are. So the camera can be controlled as usual, so you have the lens, you have um, different kinds of sensors, you have depth of field and so on, play around a certain focus and so on. Play around if you're interested in that. That's not our interest here. So the destination is uh, with this uh, scene shield here. It's uh, if you want to render or animate or an animation, it's uh, just the same. Check the dimensions. In this case, we have an HDMI 1K uh, picture with 50% resolution to uh, fasten up the render time. So for animation, you have to specify the frames here. And that's it. Aspect ratio. Um, and sampling is a quality. Here is film, not important, but you need the output. That's important the, uh, to check for films, which format you want to have, the same with pictures in RAW or in TIFF or in compressed uh, uh, mode and so on. So that's important as well. So this is your destination, but this is the usual way whatever picture you render, you have to specify these things. The only option you need for stereoscopic is you go to uh, the scene, the, the rendered layers here. You have the option views, check it. And here you now you have two uh, overlay of a red and then cyan uh, rendering, which gives you the uh, stereoscopic uh, effect. That's the only option you need. You need. If you have multi-view, then you have to define multiple cameras by yourself, and uh, this gets a little more complicated. This is a straightforward and simple way to get uh, this effect, and it's working live. So you see, it's impressively simple. So if you want to have a rendering, go here and uh, do the rendering. It starts with uh, the red eye. It takes about a, will take about a minute. Now we are about to finish the first eye with a red filter. We used one minute for that. Now we have a second rendering with cyan in an overlay. It will take another minute. Okay, that's it. Here we are with a properly rendered stereoscopic uh, image of our model. Hope you find it interesting. Hope you get inspired with your models and your projects and see you soon.